we were we were dorks, but we thought we were funny. But we found a real commonality in film. So Brian, I heard this movie was 10 years in the making. Is it a huge relief to be here today? Yeah, it's, it was actually longer. Uh, Lee and I wrote the first draft 12 years ago, and uh, so it's been a long journey for us to get it from writing it to the screen. So it's, it's, I wouldn't say relief, it's just incredible excitement. And the process has been amazing. I mean, the last two years, putting it together, making it, finishing it, now releasing it in the way that it's released, I mean, it's incredible. Well, it's an absolutely beautiful story. What inspired some of the themes? It was a conversation Lee and I had uh, in the car one day, stuck in traffic. We started talking about lost work, finding work, uh, what it would mean, you know, ambition. Yeah. And we grew up, you used to always say that you wrote Catcher in the Rye. I did. I, I guess and now. Huck it's Finn. We, we, we'd be reading Huck Finn. He's like, I wrote this passage. I guess Somebody now's a, stole it. Now's yeah. as good a time as any to, for me to tell you I didn't write either of those books. Well, everybody knew that. Is it pretty surreal so, for you guys to be here together when you were childhood friends? Yes. Oh, yeah, it's insane. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. We're loving every minute of it. Now, Bradley, your character struggles with his purpose in life. Was there ever a time before you hit it big that you questioned whether acting was the profession for you? Yes, many, many times. And that's what's great to have a, uh, your best friend in the same profession and in the same town as you because he would definitely, and still to this day, serves as an anchor. You and Zoe Saldana had amazing chemistry in the movie. What was it like working with her? Incredible. Yeah, I mean, we can say that the reason that that relationship in the movie works is because she played that role. I mean, we changed the plot of the movie based on what she brought to Dora. Mm -hmm. And yeah, really just grounded it and deepened it in a way that uh, we had to adjust the movie. What was the original story? Well, she didn't, I mean, the uh, actually the scene in the end actually wound up not changing, but, but when we were filming it, there was a scene was in the just, park. She just brought But there was a scene in the park yeah, where she leaves and we when decided we it, she didn't that leave. she didn't leave. Yeah. You know, because it just didn't feel, it felt like they were too close for her to leave. It just didn't make any sense. This movie is all about losing something that's extremely important to you. Have you guys ever lost something that was just devastating and what was it? Yeah, I mean, I lost, uh, I had a computer and some backup drives stolen from me with a lot of work on it. It was very emotional, right. very <laughs> tough, very tough. Losing all your pictures. Absolutely. You know, and stuff like that. That was really hard and yeah, it still bums me. I, I mean, I, what comes to mind is one time I found this computer on the street and uh, I couldn't believe it, and it had all this writing that I had written that I hadn't remembered that I wrote, and these pictures that I loved. It was my computer. <laughs> oh, was it? No. What are you talking about? And then you went and you published it? I haven't yet. I'm going to, but I forgot all these things that I'd written. Can I see it? Uh, I, I, I destroyed it. So what were you guys like growing up? Tell me some fun stories. We were, we were dorks. Um, <laughs> Not and, me. But we thought we were funny. Um, but we found a real commonality in film. We cooked a lot, hung out with Alvin Williams. We did cook Played a lot. for the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> Still cooking? Yeah, oh God, yeah. He cooks. <laughs> he cooks. He eats. Yeah, I eat. What's your specialty? Anything. He can really cook, for real. Nice. <laughs> for realsers. For real, yo. <laughs>